Okay, let's talk about pressure management. An acoustic accordion has changing needs of air depending on how you register it and uh, what kind of notes you play. Now I have put this accordion into a mode where it uses very little air on the right hand and a whole lot of air on the left hand. So if I demonstrate here see that there's quite difference in the length of the notes I can play with the same amount of air in the left or in the right. So what does that mean if I'm playing on the right hand and using the same extension of the bellows that I use otherwise? just goes silent <clears throat> when I press buttons on the left side because they take up so much air. So I have to adjust for the air amount I use left uh, on the left side in order to continue playing uninterrupted. basically part of playing an accordion to make sure that you just maintain the same pressure. So how do I do this actually? Uh, one of the things of how I'm doing this is that I'm using the left arm for controlling the pressure more or less independent of the left fingers. So I'm, if I press here the air button can see that I'm using the strap here, uh, the you know, base strap, with my wrist as opposed to the palm of my hand and I use those for moving <coughs> and uh, the, the, the bellows and maintaining a particular pressure uh, even while I'm playing with the left hand. Example here, I have some music here on the stand, uh, which I'm going to play sort of with this registration. And let's see how this works. Thank you. 
what we see here is that whenever we have a node on the left hand, we lose a lot of air leading to a lot of movement, but the nodes in the right hand maintain uh, their character. And an important part of that is not just playing them flat, like, but giving them their own character and articulation going into the note and out of it. That way, the interruptions we have on the left side are countered by a development in the right hand uh, that has its own character and uh, that is not faced as much by little imprecisions and interruptions than if we just play the right side flat and without any expressiveness. That's, of course, uh, then every change uh, that happens is apparent. But if we have notes that have their own development, this development seems more consistent even when interrupted on the left side. Basically, you want to have the right hand side sing, and if it does that, what uh, ear vanishes in the left hand side does less of a disturbance to the right hand's character. Okay.